one, um, I've been getting a lot of questions about using Khan Academy at home. So I'm gonna actually do a quick tutorial about how to log in and how to kind of navigate the website. So first things first, you need to open up a browser. I'm gonna use Google Chrome. And in the top navigation bar, I'm gonna type in Khan Academy. And once I do that, it's gonna be this first link right here, the free online course and lessons. And it's gonna take us to the home page that looks like this. So if I don't have an account on Khan Academy, they actually let me use their whole program and their whole software for free. So I can go ahead and click learners and I can actually log in. This is kind of nice if I have a kiddo who doesn't have a login. So maybe they're in third grade and they still need some practice with math. They can actually go to learners and actually find what they need to work on. So our kiddos do have a login. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in a login. I actually have a student profile here, so we can actually look and see what a kid's profile page looks like. So once we log in, our page looks like this. So up in the left-hand corner, we have an avatar that the kids can choose from. As I actually work through skills and work through different assignments, I actually earn points that help me evolve my avatar. Another kind of incentive system Khan has is a badge system. So in badges, you can actually earn different badges for doing different skills. So you can see as I earn points, I can earn badges as well. So whenever I click on something, I can always get back to my homepage, either by clicking home or profile. Either of those will get me back to where I need to be. Or if I'm up here, I can click profile and it'll also take me back to where I need to be. So I'm gonna actually go back to my home screen. And I can see here that I'm involved in the fifth grade course. So we have an assignment that's assigned. This is what we do during our one of our tech lab centers. You can actually see that that's where our assignments are going to be. So if I don't have any assignments to work on, I can actually go down here to my courses and I can find a skill that I would like to work on. So another way to find a skill is going up here and actually typing it in. So I'm gonna look at multiplying decimals. So that seems to be a skill that we can all practice. And if I type that into the search bar here, it's gonna give me all of the videos and all of the practices that I have to deal with multiplying decimals in fifth grade. If I wanna change the coursework, so maybe I need to go back and work on something from a fourth grade skill. Maybe I've mastered all of the fifth grade skills and I wanna start looking at some sixth grade skills. I can go ahead and do that. This is actually kind of nice, especially if we're doing practicing for different skills, you can see that as I get older, this kind of program kind of can grow with me. So I can go back. I can go back to my profile page to get back to where I need to be. And I can actually click here. I'm gonna actually click and I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up a skill here. So if I go to home, I'm gonna go ahead and click addition and subtraction. And we're gonna look at common fractions and decimals. So if I look, this little icon tells me that this is a video. Well, this one tells me it's an assignment. So the cool thing about this is once I get into an assignment, I can click, they have these little links in things that show me how to actually solve this stuff out. So if I'm still stuck or if I'm not sure, I can click show solution and it'll show me how to solve problems. I can also go to next video, which will take me to an actually a video put on by Khan Academy. And they actually walk you through how to do different skills. So as I watch these, I earn points and they will kind of walk me through the different skills I want to look at. So this has kind of been a quick overview of how to use Khan and log into Khan. Um, we've been using it in class, so I'm sure your student can help you out to see. But it's something that is really nice, even if you're using skills that aren't fifth grade related. They actually have a really cool learn programming skills that you can actually go through and work on just because I want to learn. So I always tell kids that if they take the initiative to actually work on stuff outside of school, I'll actually give them points for it because I do get an email because they are associated. So I do hope this has helped out and I hope that I'll see more people starting to use Khan at home. Thank you.